Yo, what's going on guys? We are back again with the top three players to watch, but with the Parramatta Eels today. If you've checked out any of my top three players to watch, you kind of already understand how this goes. But if you haven't, this is basically the top three players that I am keen to watch this year for any sort of club. So I've got the Parramatta Eels today. I've done the Broncos. I've done the Cronulla Sharks. I've done all these type of teams. If you want to check them out, go check them out on my channel. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first player I'm going to be talking about today is Josh Hodson. So the ex Canberra Raider hooker that was, he was getting, being compared to Cameron Smith at one stage in his career, being one of the best hookers in the competition. I'm really excited to see how he goes this year, mainly because he's coming off a major injury coming off last year with the ACL injury. And now he's at a new club. So I'm really excited to see how he will go. This man is so crafty out of hooker. I'm not too sure how the team will actually play around him. Hodson plays a bit more out of like, uh, with the markers, he will like get the markers moving and all that sort of stuff. There is definitely big differences between the two hookers. So I'm really excited to see how the Eels kind of implement their game plan around having Josh Hodgson at hooker now. Uh, he can be just like another half, basically. I'm not too sure how, what this means for Mitchie Moses, but we will touch about that a little bit towards the end of the video so but one more thing i really hope that josh hodson can get through this year with no injury troubles or anything like that i know they've got someone like mitch rain ready to go if anything does happen to uh, josh hodson and most likely josh hodson will probably play about 60 minutes this year i kind of believe mainly only because just coming off that injury it could be very uh unfortunate to see him go down and then the eels probably have no hooker cover other than mitch rain so Hopefully, Josh Hodgson has a great year this year. I'm really excited to see how he goes for the Parramatta Eels. So the next player I'm going to be talking about is Will Penasini. And Will Penasini is someone that I've been really excited for for the last couple of years. Debuting in 2021 towards the end of the year, going into the final series. And he looked really, really nice. I think the best compliment to this player, uh, Will Penasini, is basically no one is talking about Michael Jennings anymore. And that's fucking amazing for like, you know, just showing the potential of this kid and how good he's been playing. Jenko was one of the top centers in the comp. He was one of the most consistent centers for the Parramatta Eels. And now they got Will Penasini and no, not one person has ever spoken well, properly sitting down and going, oh, we miss Janko or what's going on with Janko or anything like that. That is the biggest compliment to someone so young. And so like he's in his second full year of NRL right now, his first debuting year, he only had a couple of games towards the end of the year and all that sort of stuff. In 2022, he absolutely killed it. Uh, played amazing in that and now into 2023 he's had a full off season with the NRL club he is coming in this year probably looking fresh sharp I'm really excited to see the combinations between him and Mitchie Moses and all that on the right edge especially not having Isaiah Papali'i on that same side I want to see what more they can do with Will Benassini and the last player I want to be talking about is a player we kind of touched on earlier on was Mitchell Moses and I think we all agree we are really excited to see what type of player Mitchell Moses comes out to be next year so Oh, this year. Michi has really got a lot to deal with this year, especially losing players like Isaiah Papali'i and Reed Marnie. I think Isaiah Papali'i out of more anything. I think Reed Marnie uh, is now been, you know, Josh Hodgson's brought to the club. It's to see how that combination will grow a little bit later and all that sort of stuff. But I think the biggest one is Isaiah Papali'i. You don't have that really strong edge back rower on your side that's running those amazing lines. He's been touted as probably the best, one of the best edge back rowers in the comp right now. I know the Parramatta Eels made him into that player as well. Coming from the Warriors, he didn't have that much talk around him and this and that. We kind of let him go. He had potential, but he didn't, you know, see his potential classic Warriors players move and all that sort of stuff. But, and now they have players like Jack Murchie and Matthew Dory, who is definitely a different contrast of player on either whichever side they get picked on. I think Dory is going to be playing on that left second row spot. Uh, and Jack Murchie will probably be playing on the right, if anything. And then when Maddo comes back, I think there's going to be some shuffling going around to see where their best lineup actually lies. You know, I think murchie has got a whole lot of potential in himself. He's definitely another player I'm excited to watch for the Parramatta Eels. But this all changes the game of Mitchell Moses and how he's going to attack that edge. Uh, whether he's going to play a bit more on both sides and all that sort of stuff. You know, time will tell how that com combination will go. And basically, you know, it could make the better out of him. It could hamper him a little bit. So I'm just really excited to see how that will work for the Parramatta Eels this year. All right, guys, to finish off, I want to thank you all so much for coming back to my channel. Do please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video today. I've been lacking with these top three players to watch lists. There's been so much going on and I really, uh, I'm really sorry for that. I'm basically, I'm just going to try and catch up over the weekend. There will be my Supercoach team. I'm going to probably pull out on Saturday. I would love to do that Supercoach video on Saturday or Sunday. 
depending on how we go. So on the weekend, do watch out for my super coach team reveal. Uh, there'll probably be a couple more changes when it comes to the team list uh, on Tuesday. We're warming up to the year already, boys. So get really, really excited. Do make sure to come back to my channel and watch out for all these type of content that's going to be dropping. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Peace out.